And I think one thing that's clearly missing, and I always always had as a benchmark for, for AGI, was the ability for these systems to invent their own hypotheses or conjectures about science, not just prove existing ones. So of course, that's extremely useful already to prove an existing maths conjecture or something like that, or, or play a game of Go to a world champion level. But could a system invent Go? Could it come up with a new Riemann hypothesis? Uh, or could it come up with relativity um, back in the days that Einstein did it with the information that he had? And I think today... So I think this is, you know, it's a, it's a much more realistic viewpoint of where artificial intelligence currently is and what the, the roadmap looks like. So I'll also link the full, full video um, in the description below. Um, but something something that he mentioned, which again, no, no large language model on its own will have be able to achieve, is this proper memory structure, whether it's long term, short term, working memory, and this ability to plan and work over time. You know, for a lot of tasks, you know, they they aren't something that you're gonna complete in, let's say, one pass or one request through you know you might need to wait for some information check an email interact with a coworker, build a certain portion of it come back and look at that um, so in it's a, maybe a bit of a teaser for some of our future some of the content or future videos that i'm going to put up is how we've gone about creating that how can how can these models be, what we've done is we've created a, a full memory structure which is mirror, a mirror of the human memory structure, um, as well as how uh, retrieving, accessing, updating those memories work, um, as well as then how can we give the agents the uh, capability to work on things over time, over a day, over a week, over a month, um, and so on. Again, accessing those memories, uh, the various data sources and so forth. But something interesting that, that he said there, which which is very, very true, and something that I, I, I'm struggling to con conceptualize at this stage is how can these models or a framework come up with something completely new, completely unique? Um, so again, a teaser for a, something that I'm busy working on putting together is, you know, how, how can, if you take Eric Weinstein, who's, who's a, absolute legend in my my opinion i think he's obviously super intelligent as well as it seems like a great human um but you know he came up with this approach to the theory of everything which i believe is a much much better approach and has a, a great chance of being correct uh, than what's currently done let's say in string theory etc but he came up with that when everything all the knowledge, all the content on the internet said that you, in order to come up with the theory of everything, go this way. So how can you, you know, what is the thought process and way of, you know, understanding all of that, but then coming up with something completely unique in a different, taking a completely different approach, um, which is also then correct or which will you know, fundamentally be correct once completed. So maybe this is a nice segue, just a, again, a shout out to, to Eric Weinstein. So I'm a huge supporter of his. And I also recently, they have this uh, website, the portal. So one of the, just maybe one of the fun things they have on there is, you know, you can help out this community. And they had a few programming questions where they wanted some help. So just the fun one, which I quickly got the, our agents to do, is they have this uh, portal map. Let's see. So they have, let's see, let's see. so this portal map, this is what the website currently looks like, where they, you know, put a few fun, fun locations, etc. And their question was, how can we change this to look more than, more like the SpaceX website, okay, which is 3D, obviously. Um, so I thought I'd get my agents to to create something like this for us. But I mean, this uh, uh, SpaceX has a lot of intelligent people and lots of money. But I mean, this to me looked a little bit ugly. So I'll just maybe 
I'll quickly show you what, what our agents built for Eric. So we'll, and I'll share this with them and give this to them. Let's see, three dimensional world for the portal. So there we go. So I thought this was a lot more pretty. It's a 3D world. And then it's still, it also links to, let's say, the back end data structure where you have, you know, your, let's say, all your various points coming through. And then just for fun, I thought I'd also maybe want to put a pretty image in there as well. So this was one of the hit points. Currently, this is the palace of Master Ugwe. And then I generated a, what I thought would be an image of him. So again, I'm, I mean, instead of, you know, $500 a month or something like Devon, you know, our agents went and I can also unpack how exactly I'll do a video on, let's say, creating this capability.